Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. I'm your host, Casey Marie Hertz, and today we're going to talk a little bit about self-cueing with a TheraBand to do some really great arm work on the reformer. So if you're anything like me, you come into the studio and you need to work out, but you don't have a teacher on hand to help cue you into the correct positioning. So I'm always trying to experiment on the equipment and with the props of ways that I can cue myself. And a TheraBand for arm uh, work facing front is amazing for this. So we have an extra long TheraBand. This is what you're gonna need. I wouldn't go too heavy of a gauge. You want that really kind of medium uh, tension into the TheraBand. And what I did was crossed it behind me so that you can see like a little bolero jacket. And what this does is it helps to open up the pec space and have lots and lots of space at the front of the arm so that the humerus can go at the correct part into the shoulder joint at the acromion. So many of us were always leaning forward, changing springs, helping clients. Us teachers can get very, very tight in the front body. Now, what we wanna try to do is get a little bit of tension here to help us pull the shoulder blades wide so that we have a gateway to the lower trapezius which is that cornerstone of the upper core so we can stay out of our upper trapezius so what I do is I try to pull this tightly and then I take the band and literally put it underneath each sitting bone so that it anchors it down and what I do is this is giving this nice little gentle signal at the sitting bones to keep them wide into the side. And then when I go into my arm work here, I'm still trying to get my T8 position to go back into the band so that I'm not overextended. And I can go into exercises like serve a tray, and hug a tree. And from here, I can really feel where I wanna shorten and go forward. So having that tactile sensation of not only keeping the collarbones wide, but keeping my T8 traveling back behind me, as well as my sitting bones, I have such a greater chance of refining my neutral spine and pelvis. And again, this is, can all be easily done by yourself, but don't hesitate to work with this with your clients so that they can have that kind of girdle of stability in their upper body, especially your clients that need you standing in front of them to show them where to go. We're always wishing that we had more hands to be able to cue the clients, use things like TheraBands to help you get them into that exact Goldilocks right position. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time and never stop learning.